walking around ICAST here, and I've walked into the Arctic Ice booth here at ICAST and uh, come up to a friend of ours uh, from Lexington, Tennessee, David White. David, how are you today? Doing great, Ron. Appreciate you stopping by. Hey, listen, you guys got a wonderful product line of, um, um, and I, what I like to call is an ice substitute because it's not messy and it really, really works. But this Arctic guys is something else. Talk to us about the various kinds that you have. Okay, Ron, what Arctic ice is is a phase change material, and it was designed primarily for the medical industry, but we saw a great opportunity in the outdoor industry to use this as well. Uh, the Tundra series is one of our uh, brands. The Tundra series freezes at five degrees. It was used in medical for shipping without having to use dry ice. We found it perfect for the outdoor industry. Let's say you want to go uh, to the Gulf and bring back a bunch of frozen fish. Mm -hmm. You can do that with the Tundra series and not worry about it melting on the way home. Oh, so, wow. Absolutely. Keeps your cooler, turns your cooler into a freezer. The Alaskan series was used for shipping without freezing. It has a 33 degree freezing point. Gives you a long lasting cold refrigeration temperature in your cooler without risking freezing anything in there at all. They're you know, when we talk about these, David, I'm sorry yeah. to interrupt you, but let's say for instance, I got a you know, just a regular ice chest. Okay. How long will these last in there? Well, it'll all depend on how you pack the ice chest. We know that's very important. What we found, especially with these new super coolers, is that it's very important to cool your cooler down first. Let's prep your cooler first. Bring it. That's on, on any of them, too. Absolutely. The least you can do is bring it inside and set it over an air conditioning vent. The best you can do is probably put some ice blocks in there. I like to sometimes fill up milk jugs with water, freeze them, and use them to prep my coolers and save the Arctic ice for keeping things cool because of the way it so flat and fits so neatly into the coolers. But and it doesn't mess anything up. Well, I hate a soggy sandwich. Nothing worse than a ham sandwich <laughs> soup when you're ready to eat lunch at a uh, hot, hot day. So yep. Arctic ice, you'll never have a problem with that. So we have three different temperature phases. Uh, the Tundra series that I mentioned for keeping things frozen. The Alaskan series for keeping things refrigerated. And we also brought out, in hindsight, we brought out Chillin' Brew. Chillin' Brew has a 28 degree phase change. So it's designed to keep things colder than ice, but it's not going to freeze anything Really, that's not pure water, uh, and every no one really minds having a Gatorade with a little bit of slush in it, or uh, maybe a, a cold beer after a hot day, a little bit of slush in it. The Chillin' Brew was designed for that, and it became so popular we decided to put it in 17 different colors. As you can see, we've got Ole Miss colors there. We've got Tennessee Tennessee colors yeah. there. We could even put together the University of Memphis colors right there. Oh wow, cool. So, we can, we can take care of that for your tailgating and keep things colder than ice. Also, they come in different sizes Absolutely. also. Absolutely. Starting with the five pounder. This is a five pound block. It's about the size of a sheet of paper. So if you drop that, you look at the bottom of your cooler, a sheet of paper will fit there. One of these will fit there. The large we call is a two and a half pounder. Medium, great for a six pack cooler. That's a pound and a half. For lunch boxes, we have Arctic ice in a three quarter pound block. David, for more information more. on these wonderful products from Arctic Ice, where do they go? They need to go to our website. That's uh, www.arctic-ice.com. Or you can go to our Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash bitterly cold. And uh, you'll see lots of information, lots of people using these, and how to get the most out of your Arctic Ice panels. Thank you very much, David. Appreciate it, Ron. Thank you for stopping.